All right, guys, this is my uh, ATS 12 inch portable pier. And um, I've had my 1100 on it when I had it. I sold it when I got my Mach 2. But I still use this for my 1600. And I wanted to also put my Mach 2 on it. I have other alternatives, but I wanted to get it set up so I could also use this for the Mach 2. So I'm going to show you what I did. So here you see the north leg. It's the one I keep the one that has the uh, advanced telescope systems label on it. That's always my north side. And here on the outside is the 1600 uh, flat uh, surface adapter. And the next one that we have in here is the one for the Mach 2, the flat surface adapter. Now since I had a Mach 1, I have several of these, and the new ones I know have a slot around them. So I just kept the old one, nothing, same thing other than it doesn't have the slots, which uh, I don't find that I needed that. So uh, what I did is the 1600, I drilled through quarter 20 and then uh, put nylock nuts on the back side. So it's permanent unless I pull this apart. This obviously has to come off when I use my 1600. So they use 5 16 18 uh, bolts and so I t uh, located, drilled and tapped for 5 16 18 and you know tapped it out and that's what you see here and it makes a nice and th this thing is way overkill for the Mach 2 but I've got a project coming up that I'm that I'm working on and it's going to be a dual scope setup on the Mach 2 now, as you can see again this is the north side this is offset to the north because the Mach 2 being a uh, much smaller footprint than the 1600 I wanted it to the north so that uh, when I put the counterweight shaft on I could put counterweights on it and that wouldn't be in the way so when I set this up here's the inside of the 1600 flat surface adapter and here's the outside of the Mach 2 so what I'm using is one inch long stainless steel button head socket head button head and what I did is if I just tip these slightly so if I go like this it won't fit but if I just tip it slightly it goes in there perfectly so that's how I determined how far forward and when I laid this out it worked out great and then that goes in there like that and perfectly um, mounts it just comes through a little bit further past the inside of the ring of the Mach 2 base so this works out great so I get this one like this I get that started then I'll go and start the other ones now all the other ones easily go in there you don't have to tilt them you can put them right in so when it comes to this I generally only put uh, three in then this one will go in just like this and then I'll start the other one and do the same thing And once I get this third one in, that's when I'll torque it down. Do the same to the uh, other one on the back side like that one. Then when it comes to the front side, since I can't get the Allen wrench in there, 
I just snug it as much as I can and call that good. So I come back through here, this will be the last one I do, and just kind of snug it as good as I can. Because I could probably cut this down, and I may do that down the road, but I find this is no issue. I could just chop that off a little bit so I can get in there. But I found that this is sufficient. And there it is, guys. I'll tell you, it was beautiful earlier today, nice and sunny. And the clouds come in, and it looks like all hell is going to break loose. This has been the first day above 60 in 100 days here for my area. So it really is nice. You can see that little bit of snow that we have here to the upper right. I had some uh, drifts in my yard well over four foot. 